All right. <laughs> Let's do this. I'll reframe a bit. So I checked your mail and you are not sure if you're going to have him drop the ball. Looking, he's looking, he's looking. What? I am number two. You're number one. Oh, man. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think you could. Sorry, I was I was thinking about what could you do. Of course, you know, you could have like a couple of kids here and he's jumping. <laughs> so if he goes here, he's super excited. I think what I would do uh, to push the feeling that he is super excited. See, right now this is it's kind of a, a regular running pose. And I think from the very beginning, you can bring up the nose and twist the head over that. So whatever he is doing, he's really trying to to see what the where the board is and what's going on. You know, if there's anything you can do, it's, here it doesn't look like he's looking at it. Like from the very beginning, I would personally have it where he's like he's looking and have his head twisted over a bit. Just really going, I really want to see, really want to see from the very beginning, that very first pose already. This could be I'm late to class. You know what I mean? And I, I think even in the first pose. You can make this read like, I really want to know, I really want to know what's going on. I think it's cute. I like how he jumps and I wonder if here, the thing is, if I'm looking at this, right, and I'm scrubbing, my thing is always when you scrub through, what can you see? I can see this or this. That's pretty much all he does. There's nothing here, here, here. You know, it's very, very confined in this area. And I think in order to push what's going on, A, I would bring him up because you want to deal in thirds. So it's good to have him slightly off center. Since he is looking left to right, I think I would just position him around here, that height. And with ever so slight looking over this way, so off center to the right, so you maintain that left to right thing. All right? Where's the thing here? Right, because he's doing left to right, so we're keeping the left to right a bit. And the thing is, you know, if he jumps here, see how he's up, 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 boom. So here he could go low, like right from the. You're you're doing the compression across the cut, and then he does one more jump. He could be further away. One more jump towards camera, right? He's really excited. And then imagine when that's the floor and you're on your feet. Imagine you when you go on your on your tippy toes in order to peek over. Imagine he's doing that a couple of times. So he comes in with a little jump, compression, jump forward, and then has a bit of a, you know, you could have a bit of a, a lean over. He's checking his ball, he's checking over here, something where you can use that space a bit more, you know what I mean? Like he looks, looks, looks. So that way you go from big jump to, you know, for contrast, you do big, so compression, one more jump, tippy toe, tippy toe left right and then you go less and less and less and less and less so you have this contrast where it's it's big 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 smaller 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 and slower and slower the beats are slowing down until you wait and you hold and you hold and then oh right you don't want this to go and that 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 that, that, that. so you don't want to have jump and jump left right look 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 left right couple you know couple head darts left right he's reading is finding his reading is finding a little bit of text there and then he goes that's actually great yes that's about the amount of paw that would do and then you know you can think about what would read the best if you like this and he goes I don't know, like a, sh a slump first and then slow blink look down or like eyes down body stays and the eyes down and then head follows and then slump. There are a couple of ways you can play this. But even on that, you know, you can have a slump down with the head, come back up, maybe like a eye dart looking with a, with a sad look, and then go completely down with the head and start turning it over. A little uh, head turn that leads across the cut into that, so that you finish that head turn and it gets into this. And I'm thinking, yeah, it's not too bad. You can just drop the ball and the ball goes boom, 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 boom as he walks this way. So his path is this and his hoped future is this way. They're parting ways visually, you know. Um, that could be something. You could throw it away. 
Kick it away. Hmm. Just would stop and go, you know what? I'm gonna do it anyway. Next time it's gonna be better. And he's gonna do the pom 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 pom. Pretend he's playing and doing something. I don't know. It could be a couple of ways. Depends how you want to finish it. But I think it's not too bad. Slumped and then, you know, like a defeated slump walk with the ball going the other way. I kind of like the visuals of him going this way and the ball going this way. That's just me. Um, yeah, that's about it. And uh, you're very welcome for the workshop. Thanks for writing that. And uh, you bought your CTN tickets. I wish I could come. Too busy. Unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately. Fortunately, I'm busy. That means I have a job. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. I want to come back. I've been only once there and it's been great. Anyway, hit pause and open your sailor shots. All right, and then there's an email in between. We have an arm scramble when he is trying to catch his balance. Uh, so do you mean that in the first shot when he's, you know, jumping, jumping, jumping? I guess so. I don't know. I kind of like what you have. It's just, you know, polish it out. I'm not sure if it needs to be. I mean, you could. It all depends how you act it out. Why not? You can try. You can do a rough version uh, and pitch the idea. I'm not sure if you need it. I'm not sure if you gain too much out of it, but you can try. Why not? Uh, and then we have this guy. Let's go back. You know what I see? I see a man without a country. Not hard enough for this right here. And maybe, just maybe, not smart enough for them out there. All right. So I like this. A lot. I would say, let's plan this out, you know, look at the timing and offsets and, you know, careful with your hand poses and potentially scale down that hand, it's a huge massive hand. Uh, but then I would definitely watch out for this. And by that, I mean, uh, there are a ton of accents you can put in there. You know what I see? I see a man. You know what I see? You know what I see? You can hear. I see. Not it's going to say you have a little wire rotation C, like a sideways thing, but you don't want to make you want to make sure it's not too twinned with this. So maybe maybe not. What I see, what I, see I see a man without a country. Man. Like men, you know, like a nice facial thing where you put the lips together with the head up a bit. I see a man without a country. Country, country definitely like a chin forward, move the head forward type of thing. Without a country. And then you can do not country. Like after the country, you can have a bit of a swing up or swing to the side or stay low like you can country leads into a long move that bridges that not hard that. enough for this not hard enough for this right here and right here, and right here could have right here like a little side maybe like a nod or something not hard enough for this right here and maybe See, maybe it's like a knot in between country, country. Not hard enough for this right here. And maybe... Yeah, there's enough time, like right here and right between... Uh, right after it says here, with a nod down. Enough for this right here. And maybe... just. And I think for that... Like that I like for maybe, but you could... I would start this from a straight position. Uh, my tool sometimes is very interesting. Now it works. No, it's delayed. It's kind of funny. So it's straight. So that maybe on the maybe, then it gets into that. So that way you have somewhere to go. Because right now you're kind of stuck in that angle that the head is in. Right here. And maybe, maybe. just maybe would have that tight to, uh, twist and tilt. Just, just maybe not smart enough for them out there. And then on smart, all right, so you're going left. Maybe, just maybe not smart enough for. And on smart, he can whip that head around to then have that angle, you know, for a little quick reversal. For them out there. And in that you know way, what I see? when you are leaning that way, all right, my tool again. And then when he points, that's when you can bring the head back into this. So he points and, and like, you know, in a way almost arches back or arcs back the head, or also points. You know, it doesn't have to be completely twinned with his hands, but when I mean, you're doing it here, but imagine he's also doing it not just in Y, but from a head to this, to that. There you go. That makes sense. Weird scribbles. 
that's kind of it. That's kind of what I would do. It's definitely, you know, you're in a good position body-wise. Really think about how can you make the head work so that, you know, the main thing for me with lip sync is always that you want to make sure that the words, as they come out, that the body is influenced by them and it's reacting by it. So if you have a big, strong, whatever word, you know, it comes out of the chest. If it's a big jaw moving, you say like, ah, you know, like that jaw really shoots down. But because the jaw is so fast and strong, it's going to pull the head down a bit. It's going to, you know, have a little accent because of the jaw. So a lot of stuff where you can really tie the head to the audio, not just in broad accents to kind of mimic like a Muppet type of thing, but just making sure that if there is anything that the jaw is doing, you know, it will affect the head, even if it's a slight twist or a tilt or whatever. All right, that's kind of it. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.